As soon as the tide's out, the horses are off. Five hours long, the Dune Mudflats race consists of six galloping and six trotting races against a very unusual backdrop. It's an unforgettable experience for equestrian sports lovers. It's amazing to look out at the expanse of sea. You feel truly at one with your horse. You're a real team, just you and your horse. Riding across this empty sea, as it were, it's great fun. This is the first time that Anja Segerken is taking part. She'll be riding a gelding that belongs to the famous German journalist Stefan Aust, whose hobby is horse breeding. As a boy, I always dreamed of taking part in the race myself. It's a dream that never came true. In the past, we didn't have horses. Then we did, but not the right sort for this race. And I'm not really that great a jockey. But now we have a five-year-old crossbreed who is very fast. This race requires a horse to not only be fast, but also calm and collected. It's my first time and I don't have any experience and nor does the horse, but taking part is the main thing. We're local and that makes it even more special. Lots of my friends have come to watch and cheer me on. They'll be joining some 40,000 others who've come to see the Dune Mudflats race. Just as it was 100 years ago, it's opened by Neptune and Poseidon. This is a very traditional event. There's no event quite like it anywhere in the world. The atmosphere is unique. We have an international shipping route on the horizon, the Elba, with all the ships on their way to America. And then the promenade with all its little cafes and stores. It's a cross between a festival and a horse race. The punters lay their last bets, and then Anja Zegerken is off to the starting line. When I'm show jumping, then I more or less feel like I know what I'm doing. But this is completely new and my heart is pounding. <laughs> she gets off to a good start and she's soon ahead of the pack. But as the race progresses, her inexperience starts to show. Anya eventually finishes seventh. I'm relieved. We managed to keep up at the beginning, but I think we ran out of steam too soon. The one and a half kilometer race across the mudflats is a lot more exhausting than a normal race. If you're behind the other horses, getting all the mud and water in your face, then you can't see much and you get very out of breath. As you can see, my eyes are very sore, my throat and my mouth, but it's all par for the course. It's perfectly peaceful if you're in front. All you can hear is the sound of hooves and it's really lovely. The winner of Anya's race takes home a valuable porcelain figure. But the others are still thundering across the sands until the tide comes back in and washes away all traces of today's races.